All right, I'm sure it will become your favorite thing, how to fill in a Rebney financial. So the Rebney financial statement, it's basically your assets and your liabilities, right? When we're looking at co-ops, co-ops are gonna be a little bit more strict. They're gonna to wanna to make sure that your debt to income ratio is gonna be about 25%, and they're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have at least one year, some require more, of post-close liquidity. So that's really what this is for, so that they can make sure and the seller can make sure that you are not only financially qualified to purchase the apartment, but they're also going to want to make sure that you're going to get approved by the building. All right, so you're going to start at the top, right? It's pretty self-explanatory. You're going to want to put your cash, the cash you have in banks. Um, it's going to go through, right, your 401k. Please make sure that when you are filling in um, any life insurance, it's just what the cash out value is today. It's not what the total of your life insurance is. It's just the cash out value. Um, also your stocks, your bonds, things like that. On the second page, you'll see where it asks you to itemize them. For this purpose of turning in an offer, you just need to put like if it's you know a fidelity statement and it's this amount, you can put it that way. Um, any real estate you own, make sure you put in that value. If you don't know what the value is of your home, you know, there's, I hate to say it, but there's you know Zillow online, something like that. Look at your Zestimate, um, and then you can find out that price, what you still have left for the mortgage, that mortgage is gonna be in your liabilities, and that your monthly payment, it will need to go on that sheet as well. It'll see, you'll see um, a section for apartment financing. So make sure that, or any other mortgages, make sure that that number is going under any other mortgages. Then there's a few different revenues out there. Some are going to ask for your yearly income and some are going to ask for your monthly income. So just make sure you read which one it is and then fill that out appropriately. Um, and that should be it. Oh, just make sure if you are putting down an amount next to any personal property or furniture, these are things that have been appraised. Maybe they're you know really fine pieces of artwork, jewelry, things like that. Um, in my case, shoes. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, but make sure that you uh, are only putting in things that you can actually prove because everything that you're going to be writing on this financial statement, once you get approved and, or I should say, once your offer is accepted and we're getting to the board package uh, phase, we're going to need to prove all of those things. And if you are going through with a proof of funds, which means you're all cash, you're not financing, we don't always need the revenue, but make sure that you talk with us in advance about that. If it's a co-op, you definitely do. Um, but if you don't want to show all of your funds, you just want to show the proof of funds. We're going into a condo. We may be able to work with that. All right. Any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out. We look forward to working with you on this and getting that offer in.